in this video tutorial i'm going to share with you two different ways you can carry out arbitrage trading on the remitano exchange all right and with this style of arbitrage trading you can be making anything from 10k 20k 50 100k and even more depending on the size of your trading capital all on the remitano exchange all right so i want you to pay attention carefully and follow um, the video step by step all right so um, if you're new to the channel you love videos about making money online about crypto trend investing then consider subscribing hit the notification bell to be the first to be notified each time videos like these are published on this channel and if you want to learn more about crypto link will be in the video description to join my telegram you know channel and you know group okay to equally learn from others as well all right so to be able to do this you need a remitano account if you don't have one already i will leave link in the comment section or in the video description just use it to sign up for a free account okay so once you sign up for a free account you need to get your account verified okay there are levels you can actually use to verify your account first you need to verify your account with phone number and then um, other verification which will require your id you can use your nin you can use you know your voters card if you're in nigeria and other countries just use a government issued id card and you are good to go okay so once you verify your account and you log into your account everything i'm doing i'm demonstrating this on the desktop version okay you can do it on the remitano app as well all right so if you get um confused anyway you can equally use the comment section and drop a comment and i will equally see how to help you out with that all right so once you log into your account the first thing you want to do is um i'm a nigerian okay so i need some ngnr okay this is my naira wallet all right this is my naira wallet on the remitano exchange you can deposit naira into your exchange okay into your account and then you can withdraw naira um directly to your bank account the same thing applies um for any other country let's say you're in ghana you're in kenya whatever country you are that remitano supports you can deposit your local currency into the remitano um, exchange okay and then equally withdraw that local currency but because i'm in nigeria i'm going to use the ngn as a case study so if you are in any other country once you go ahead and click on this um, icon okay it's equally available on the app so once you go ahead and click on that icon all you just need to do is to select your own country here all right and every other thing you have here will be changed to your local currency okay since i'm in nigeria just go ahead the next first thing i need to do now is to go ahead and click on dashboard okay so once i go ahead and click on dashboard click on the arrow there i'll go ahead and click on wallet so once i click on wallet i just need to scroll down here okay you see um here on the ngn this is my naira wallet i can deposit okay i can withdraw so if i deposit it means that i'm depositing naira from my bank account to my remitano account then if i withdraw i can equally withdraw the naira that i have here directly to my bank account okay so the same thing happens to in other countries um currencies and the rest okay and then for every other um crypto asset that is supported by remitano you can equally deposit and withdraw as you can see there are a lot of crypto assets that are supported here okay but my concern in this video is just the arbitrage form of trading so first we need to deposit naira into our remitano account and to do that on the ngnr here go ahead and click on deposit so once you click on deposit it brings you to this page all you need to do is to put in the amount you want to deposit for instance if i want to deposit like 200k okay so i'll go ahead and click on 200k once i put in the amount i want to deposit go ahead and click on next so once you click on next it brings you to this page once you're on this page here you see different banks you can deposit to okay um the fact that your bank is not listed there doesn't mean that you cannot deposit naira these are just bank for instance if you are using uba you know that transaction from uba to uba does not attract any charges okay so you can choose any of these bank that you use if you are using a separate bank then it means that whatever bank you choose here you have to pay the transfer fee okay so that is it so you go ahead and you know select any bank and once you select a bank an account number will be generated for you so once that account number is generated for you, it is expected that you make the transfer to that account number okay so if i go ahead and select um, any of this bank let me just go ahead and select one okay once i select one i go ahead and click on continue okay so once i click on continue um this is the deposit we are going to make these are details of the deposit we are going to make okay 
So um, now, okay, they have my Remitano has automatically matched me with a vendor that I'm going to make the transfer to. Okay, so here they say transfer money to account number. This is the account number. All right, the bank account name is this person. All right, and then the bank I'm going to transfer the money to is Access Bank. Okay. So I'm transferring exactly this amount of money, all right? So, and they say 56 um, Naira um, actually charges on top of this, all right? So, and then um, you're going to transfer that with your name, okay? You're not using any other thing, but on the, um, where you have to put your remark or, you know, uh, whatever you're going to put description or so, you're going to use your name, okay? So this is what you are going to put there. Just copy this and put where it says, you know, remark, um, description, or whatever. Okay. And then once you deposit, Remitano is telling you that um, this will be automatically confirmed. So once you deposit, it, the system automatically detects this. So you don't need any um, screenshot or thereabout. Okay. Once you click on I've made payment, this will be reflecting in your account directly okay so once this is reflecting in your account the next thing you need to do is to first go with the first method of the arbitrage trading okay now we now have naira i have some naira here already okay and um, you can see that on my balance here so i have some naira in my wallet already okay so now that we now have that um the next thing i need to do is to come in here to this option where it says swap okay so we need to use the swap. This is the first arbitrage um, trading method with the Remitano exchange. Okay, so we need to go ahead and click on the swap. So once we click on the swap option, we want to swap from our, you know, Naira wallet to any other crypto asset. Okay, and then this does not, um is, is not immediate. Okay, so now that I have some Naira, I can swap this to either USDT. All right, depending on whatever I'm swapping, wait for USDT to increase and sell. Or I can swap it to BTC, wait for BTC to increase and sell. Or I swap it to, you know, Ethereum, whatever coin you want to swap to. Okay, you can swap to that and then you sell. So first we have the NGN. Okay, if it is not there, just click on it and then you select it here. If you don't see, just scroll down, click on where it says fiat currencies. Okay. These are all the fiat currencies that are supported. If your country is listed, it means that you can actually carry out this type, um, this style of arbitrage trading in Ghana, Kenya, and other countries that you see here. Okay, so go ahead and select, um, in my own case, NGN. Okay, so once we select NGN, we have some NGN here already. So we want to swap that. So I'm not doing to BTC, I want to do to any of these um, crypto assets you see here to Cardano. Okay, so I did to XRP um, before. Okay, the last transaction I did was XRP. Okay, because SRP was pumping. So I did when SRE was trading around, um, I think, 38 cents or thereabout. And I sold that at 41 cents, which is actually something good. So you can actually go ahead and search for any of those tokens you don't see. Okay, if you don't see it there, just search for it and then you see where it says Ripple. For instance, if I want to convert what I have here to Ripple, so I just go ahead and, you know, um, click on Max. So once you click on Max, it tells you that you are getting this at, you know, this amount of money I have here will give me around 15 um, Ripples, okay? So if I go ahead and go ahead and buy Ripple, all I need to do is to wait. Remember, it cost me 4,836 Naira, okay? So it means that if I'm going to sell back Ripple to NGN, it has to be above this, okay? It has to be above this. So um, I just have to wait. It can happen within a day it can happen you know within a few days you just have to wait when it increases you go ahead and sell but in this case i will just swap this to something else let's say i want to swap it to bnb for instance okay you can swap that to bnb and that will give me 0 0.024 bnb okay 0 0.024 bnb okay bnb is currently um i think a few days ago it was trading at 200,000. right now it's trading at in 193 um you can equally any of the coin that you prefer okay you can swap it to any of these coins you prefer ethereum since after the mesh has not been moving so um i don't i'm not really sure if this will move fast okay so let me just go with bnb all right and we'll get this in bnb so i'll go ahead and click on buy bnb and then it asks you to confirm go ahead and confirm that all right so our transaction, the swap is successful. So right now I now have BNB as against the 
um, NGN. Okay, so if I go ahead and swap this back, let me just um, click on if once I click on this arrow here, this icon here. Okay, it will not change whatever coin you have from here to up, which is the BNB in this case. So we now have BNB NGN. So what I can be doing now is to be um, checking, looking at for this. Okay, so um, if I go ahead and click on Max. So if I go ahead and click on max, you see that after the swap, um, our 48 is now worth 4,700. So this is what we'll be paying attention to. Okay. Once this gets to 5,000, for instance, it gets to 6,000, it gets to 7,000, whatever it is. Once you have some profit on top of, you know, what you initially got, you go ahead and, you know, just click on buy. Okay. Once you buy, you now have your Naira back. Okay. So now you have your Naira back. You can go to, you know, wallet. Okay. Once you go to wallet, you can click on, you know, if you have the Naira here, you just go ahead and click on withdraw. So once you go ahead and click on withdraw, your bank details will be here. If your bank detail is not here, maybe for the first time, you can just go ahead and click on add new um, account. Okay. And it gives you that option of adding your bank account details. Then you can withdraw directly to your bank account. Okay. Maybe you withdraw the profit you make or you can withdraw your whole money. Nobody is restricting you. You can withdraw that to your bank account. That is the first method of arbitrage trading. The second method is if I come to the home page. Okay. So if I come to the home page, then next thing I need to do is to click on um, the P2P trading. All right. So once I click on the P2P trading, this is what I want you to pay attention to. Right now, this is for the statistics for Ethereum. Okay. Um, this is what people are buying. Okay. This is what um, people are selling. Now, the difference between this is that these are uh, people, those who are buying here, this buying price you see here are Remitano users. Okay. They are buying from other Remitano users. And in turn, what do they do? They will sell back to those Remitano users who want to buy back. So, what these exchanges do is that they give, you know, preference to the users who are creating art on their platform okay so if you create an art to buy any coin here you are what a seller then if you if you are coming here just to buy you are a buyer so if you are buying you are buying from those who are selling okay and then if you are selling you are selling to those who will in turn you know sell back to you at a higher price okay so what you do is to create an art as a buyer Okay, you can create that ad for Ethereum, for USDT, for BTC. Okay, um, if I click on where it says change coin, another coin here. Okay, so you can create ad for BTC, Ethereum, all of these that are listed here, BNB, Ripple. Okay, you can create this ad here, and then what do you do? You wait for you know people to buy for people to request to you know sell and then when they are selling you are buying from them and when you buy from them it all depends on the volume you are trading in a day okay when you buy from them you create another ad to sell that okay you see that if if for instance you buy one ethereum at um 936 32000 you are selling that immediately at 900 and what 46000 okay so you just create an ad they, that, that what it means that you are becoming a merchant on the remitano platform you create an ad to buy crypto asset from people when they are selling and in turn you create an ad to sell back to them okay when they want to buy i don't know if you understand this that is how it works if i change the asset to something else okay any of this coin i change it to you see that let's say i change it to btc okay so you buy BTC from people at, you know, 13.6 and then you sell it to them at 13.9. It's as simple as that. If you change it to USDT, the same thing applies. Okay. If I change it to USDT, all right. So you see that the selling price, which means if somebody wants to buy right now, the person is buying at this 721. Okay. And then the buying price is the selling price or the buying price, which you in this case will be buying from. Okay. You are buying at 714 um um us 714 naira okay so if you buy okay if, if you buy 714 you can now place an ad to sell it at what 721 all right it's as simple as that okay another thing you should be looking at if you look at the selling price here, let's say you bought um usdt at 714 okay you bought people are ready to sell and they are selling to you 
okay and you bought at 714 if i click on sell here let's assume i'm the one selling and you are the buyer and then i want to sell like let's say one one thousand usdt okay uh, i think the best offer here is 717 okay 717 this is what this person is ready to buy okay and then you see people are ready to buy at 709 711 let's say you bought less than this another thing you can do is to take advantage by going to binance okay if i go to binance and i go to binance p2p so if i come in here and i want to sell usdt for instance okay if i come in here click on sell usdt just go ahead and click on the sell tab so on the sell tab on binance you see that people are ready to actually buy at 725 all right so it means that you buy on remitano at 717 for instance okay we bought at 717 or 709 or 711 you can come in here and sell it at 725 but one thing you want to pay attention to okay is um the limit all right so this person is selling 725 because you can only uh, you know sell to this person the highest this person can buy is um 10,000 okay this is 40,000 all right and it goes on that way so you want to equally look at the limit all right to equally know what you are buying or who you are selling to and the rest okay if you need higher funds like this one that is buying okay at 720 it means that you need to have anything from um, this is 10 10 m to around 50 m okay that way you can be able to profit from it there's money in arbitrage trading if you understand what arbitrage trading which is you know making profit from the differences in price and these differences are very minimal okay so if you understand this difference you know that if a lot of money is involved in it you can make a whole lot of money for instance if you have crypto worth 10 million naira, okay it will only cost you one USDT. That is around 700 or 720 or thereabout to transfer it from one exchange to another. Okay. To transfer this from Binance or from um, Remitano to Binance, it will only cost you one USDT, which is 720 Naira. So you can transfer this and sell that crypto there. And in all, you will still make a whole lot of money. So I ended up showing you three different ways. Okay. The first way is buy on Remitano, just trade within, um, you know, deposit your naira swap it to any coin wait for the coin to increase and sell it back to naira okay the second way is buy from remitano from those who are selling and then place an ad to sell it back and then the third way you can buy here okay come in here to binance and sell it all right depending on the capital you are starting this with you can be making from as low as ten thousand, okay to as high as hundred thousand two hundred thousand five hundred thousand per transaction all right so go ahead and see how you can try this ad now if you try any of these and immediately it doesn't go into profit nobody is killing you the asset you bought is still yours you can hold it until it goes in profit and you can sell that is my final word for you go ahead and try it and if it works out for you always leave a comment now if you have gained value from the video smash the like button okay that will encourage me to make more videos like this smash the last the like button if you don't have an account with remitano sign up for one using my link and then you can equally join my telegram group to learn more that is all i have for you in this video and i'll see you in the next video